Hey guys, it is Cole and Sahar with The Bridge Group. And you know today we're gonna bring you not just the monthly market update, but the yearly market update. I guess it's an appropriate time during the year to bring last year's 2023's market update. Everything that we do as far as the monthly market update is always in the rears. So this is gonna be all of 2023. Let's go ahead and start off with the good, the bad, the ugly, the ugly. <laughs> and so it will be single family home sales were down 12% last year. And we're talking about from 2022 to 2023. That's not good. That's that's bad. <laughs> but we still like the bridge group, which was great for us. And if you're a past client, you know, we celebrate with you. We thank you for your business. But we were ahead of where we finished off in 2022, whereas many of our peers cannot say the same. So thank you so much for your support. But yeah, Sahar, what was the reason for, what was the primary reason for us seeing a 12% decline? So there was a surge in mortgage interest rates, which a lot of the buyer were hesitant to start buying. And a lot of the sellers who were interested to list their house or sell their house and get another one or also hesitant to sell because they didn't want it to lose their low mortgage rate. That's right. Yeah. So a lot of those sellers would be buyers said, hey, I don't want to lose my four or 3% interest rate to sell and have to get an 8% interest rate. Yeah. They, they would have a smaller house or even if they were downsizing, they would have a smaller priced house with a higher mortgage payment because of those interest rates. Didn't make sense. And now we're starting to see a change, right? So you were just telling me about some of the buyers that you're working with right now that were looking to maybe buy in 2025, but they had a change of heart, right? What, what happened there? So they were initially wanted to postpone their buying because of the mortgage rates. And then since the mortgage rates start dropping, they're like, hey, I can, you know, decrease my price points and just start looking right now. Yeah, no, awesome. No, that's good. Good for you. We've talked about interest rates being really one of the main culprits of the slowdown. In and I know that. I think that we've had a lot of clients that backed out of deals that are getting back into the market the fourth quarter of last year when they really started coming down. Now, there are three more times that they're going to be decreasing rates this year. So that's great. That's great. Yeah. Good news. Yeah. Hopefully that gets into, you know, maybe closer to six, five and a quarter, five and a half, anything less than that. It would be a gift from God, but uh, <laughs> I don't think we're going to see it. All right. So let's get into months of supply. I feel like this and the price point of houses, this is where everyone was like holding their breath, right? They were like, well, I'm going to wait until there's a market crash. There is not going to be a market crash. There wasn't. And if there was, it would have happened. And in during this time. So in 2022, we saw 2.6 month of inventory, right? Which this month of inventory means if the mayor of Houston said, hey, shut it down, no more active properties. The only properties that can sell are the ones that are currently active. You cannot list any new properties. There'd be 2.6 months of inventory before everything was sold, right? But now, instead of 2.6 in 2022, we have 3.5 in 2023, or we did. And that might be going up in the winter months, which is seasonal. But at the same time, you have a whole lot more homes that are sitting on the market, which means buyers have more to choose from. So listings are gonna sit longer, days on market are going up. When that happens, that means you have really kind of you know, more inventory, less demand. And in 2022, we had less inventory, more demand. What happened with our pricing? Everyone out there was like, I'm waiting until the housing crash. I'm waiting until house prices go down. Did that happen? No, so that's interesting because even though everyone forecast that the real estate is gonna crash, the home prices did not go down. They actually appreciate. Yeah, I mean, even though it was marginal, I think the average price point in 2022 is 406,000. The average price point in 2023 in Houston real estate is 407,000. Good news is we're in the positive <laughs> by $1,000 at the same time. It's not by that much. But I do want to say everyone that was thinking there was going to be a housing crash or prices were going to dip, it just did not happen. If it would have, it would have happened by now. Now, as if inventory continues to creep up, appreciation might be stagnant. However, with the interest rates continuing to go down, I feel like we're gonna have the opposite effect just like we saw post COVID. All right, guys, I hope you got something from that. Sahar, thank you so much for coming on today and giving us some knowledge on those interest rates. Yeah, thanks for having me. Absolutely. Guys, uh, if you have any questions, if you need any help with real estate, buy, sell, or if you just have questions about maybe the value of your house or what those mortgage rates would look like for you, I am not a lender, neither is Sahar, but we have friends that are lenders and know how to do that. So reach out to us, give us a call, and you'll have a great, safe winter.